Developing news, two people are found dead in Newport Beach. The investigation is happening on East 15th Street and Irvine Avenue. That's where CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with authorities. We're trying to find clues. Tina? Now, police are calling this an active homicide investigation, but right now they are not saying exactly how these two people died. What we do know is that a man who lives in one of the apartments here on 15th Street came home last night around 9.30 p.m. He found the body of his male roommate along with the body of a woman who he didn't know. He did not see any signs of forced entry. Now, the coroner's office took those bodies away just a few hours ago, but investigators are still here gathering evidence. They've got the apartment complex blocked locked off as well as part of the road, which is right in front of Newport Harbor High School. But officers are allowing students and people who live here to come and go. Neighbors have been told there's no immediate threat to public safety, but they tell us they're still uneasy, wondering who these victims are and when exactly they might have died. I was home all night last night. We were home after church for Easter, hung out at the house. We did not hear a gunshot. We heard no commotion. This is a very, very safe neighborhood. Nothing like this ever, ever, ever happens. There is an Orange County woman who has been missing since Friday night. Wendy Miller was last seen at a bar at Laguna Beach. Some of her relatives and friends were here this morning. They've been asking police about information about the woman who was found here in this apartment. But back out here live, we've talked to police about that. Right now, they are not saying whether they believe these two cases are may, may be related. All they're saying to us is that the positive IDs of both victims will have to come from the coroner's office. That's the latest in Newport Beach. Tina Patel, CBS 2 News.